We're going to enlist these raving fans in step six. Now, I showed your review a second ago. We're going to dive into that review here in just a second. We're good. Step six is we've identified those raving fans in step five. In step six, we're going to ask those people to go review us again. So remember that raving fan in that last step? Let's take a look at this up close. She said this great thing about us. You can read her review here in the body of the email. Let's send her a nice thank you email. We'll go through the whole thing. Hi, Kima. Thank you so much for the kind words you shared on DealerRater.com. And then there's her review. Best car dealer ever. Donnie Dunbar was the best car salesperson on earth. He made sure I was given the best deal, an affordable car on the lot. He worked it out all in, he worked it all out of my favor. I love my new car. I would send my grandma to get a car from Donnie. Thank you so much, Donnie. I will tell everyone about the wonderful customer service. I got a great car at an affordable price. That was her review. That was the review that Kima left, right? So she said all these nice things about us. Now I'm gonna say in my email, it was truly a pleasure to assist you. And I can't wait to help your grandma buy her next car too. Put a little smiley face on there. If you're up to it, I'd like to ask you a favor. Since so much of my business is based on referrals, I was hopeful you could uh, place your review on other websites as well. If you have accounts already created any of the following, it would be too much to ask for you to give us a five-star review. And I give her links to Google, Yelp, and Facebook. Also, please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. See, I'm gonna, she's already left one review for me on Dealer Raider, which eh, not a lot of people are gonna see necessarily, but they're all gonna see it on Yelp and Facebook and, and, on, and on Google. And I just asked her again, she's a raving fan, and I said, please rate me elsewhere. If you think this is too much, if you think asking a raving fan who's already done you a favor to, to rate you again is too much, then be prepared to live with your mediocre results. See, people who do you a favor are more likely to do you a second favor and a third favor. Folks, that's called the Ben Franklin effect. All right, now I'm enlisting my fans. The best email surveys where, 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 where we're trying to identify our fans are actually the best way to enlist our fans because they'll do it automatically. They'll both identify and enlist our raving fans. So this Friendemic email is a great example. Now Friend, Friendemic, for those of you who don't know, is a social media and reputation management tool. I love it. I have a deal on my website we'll talk about in just a second. But Friendemic is surprisingly cost effective and it really is perfect for any size business. And it, they're not just in automotive. Friendemic is for uh, plumbers and barbers and bakers and everybody, anybody who needs online reviews, positive online reviews, Friendemic can help you do it. And they have various packages, various package sizes. But let's take a close look at this email. This is an email where they're using an email survey to both identify your rating fans and then enlist them. So they ask the one question survey, right? But then when I click yes, I'm automatically taken to a page that says, hey, review me on Facebook, Google, Yelp, cars.com, Edmonds. If I say no, that I wouldn't recommend them to a friend, I'm sent to a page where I can give them, I can tell the dealership or tell the business information on why I wouldn't recommend them. And so I'm not only enlisting fans right away, I'm, I'm identifying fans, and I'm enlisting them to go say nice things about me, but I'm also calling out, I'm, I'm separating the bad reviewers from the good reviewers. And I'm taking those people who had bad experience and I'm giving them a chance to tell management about their experience so that we can fix it for the future. Now, if you wanna see my offer on Friendemic, if you wanna contact Friendemic, there's an 888 number right on our website. Go to undeniableadvantage.com, go to recommended, drop down, look for reputation and social, click through, you'll find Friendemic, you'll find out everything you need to do about them. All right, by the way, Three Birds does this as well. We talked about Three Birds marketing a little earlier and we'll talk about them again. Let me show you Three Birds email. Again, Three Birds uh, is only automotive. This is a terrific overall email social reputation service provider in automotive, but there's so much more of course, all right? So their email is also an enlisting service. Uh, their email enlisting service is perfect for dealers. So they will enlist our raving fans and then they will, they will identify them and enlist them and have them go leave you a great review, but even if the customer doesn't leave notes, Three Birds collects information on every click for you. So what's great about this is, is if someone clicked no, and then they don't go fill out the, the review about us, and we don't know why they wouldn't recommend us, Three Birds is gonna provide you that information. They're gonna say, hey, Mr. Bob Smith clicked no, but he, but he didn't tell us why he, he wouldn't recommend us. That gives your managers a chance to pick up the phone and call Mr. Smith and say, hey, Mr. Smith, it's Steve Stalling. I'm the sales manager here. I understand that you bought a car last week. I want to know how things were going. And then we'll find out. He wouldn't recommend this. And we can fix those issues, preferably before the CSI uh, paperwork comes from the OEM. Also, I want you to understand, this is something you can do yourself. All about everything I'm teaching you today about real reputation management, all eight steps, 
you can also do yourself. You don't need to pay a company to do it. If you have the ability to do these things, you can do it yourself. So I've identified my raving fans. I can actually send them a do-it-yourself email survey where I can enlist those raving fans. So remember that one question survey email, would you recommend us, yes or no? The people who said yes, I can send them an email back that says, hey, please rate us. And if I've got the ability and the time, I can build a page like this on my website with links to the review sites that are important to me pretty easily. So I can send them an email back. They said, yes, they would recommend us. I say, great, you know what? Would you tell the world what you think about us? And then I send them to a page like this and then they click through and they can get, leave me a review. Now it's important. See these four little icons on here? It's important that if I click on those as a consumer, that it takes me to the correct page of the review site and not the home page. So the link to Google should go to your Google reviews page, not to the home page of Google. Same thing with Yelp, Yahoo, wherever you're sending people, Angie's List, wherever you identified, remember, in step four. All right, so what about the immediate leads, right? The people that we recognized immediately, they were in our dealership, they were, uh, they were either in sales or service, Somebody put maybe the F&I manager or, or somebody at the cashier, they put a smiley face stamp on their paperwork. When that smiley face stamp, that paperwork goes up the paperwork chain, someone, a clerk along the way, needs to send them an email like this. It's just a single email request. This email or one with a single link back to your do-it-yourself reviews page is all you need to send. Now, don't overthink this. We'll talk about it in a second. But this email just basically says, please rate us, right? I'd love to know what you think about us. Uh, you know what, if it's not too much trouble, give us a review on one of these sites. If you wanna copy this, by the way, uh, just uh, uh, you can send me an email, steve at undeniableadvantage.com. I'll give you a copy of this email uh, without a problem. Once we post this on stevestawning.com, we'll, we'll post this email as well, but that's gonna be a couple of weeks before this video series is posted on stevestawning.com. But don't overthink this. Some of you are saying, well, Steve, gosh, why would I, identify who the raving fans are. Why don't I just send every customer this email and say, go rate us? Because two things. One, only 1.5% of consumers are going to rate us online. We already know that. Only 1.5%. But on top of that, who's more likely to give you a review from an email like this? Someone who's happy or someone who's sad? Someone who's unhappy with you, right? Someone who had a bad experience. We don't need to shoot ourselves in the foot. We don't need to go out there and start generating a bunch of one and two star reviews. So don't send this email to everybody. Just send it to your raving fans. Now, Steve, but what if we, what if we, immediately, uh, we, we immediately identify someone as a raving fan and I don't wanna send them an email. How do I ask them right now to leave me a great review? So you can create like a one sheet or a business card that instructs your customers where or how they can leave a review of your business and just have these ready to go when you identify a raving fan. So that could be the wait staff has these. It's a, if you're a hotel, the, the clerk has these, a cashier at a car dealership would have these. Wherever the point of sale is at, you would have these. So let's take a quick look. We'll just look at this. I made these cards up. There is no, there's nothing called the milk restaurant, but this is, I'm, a, I'm the head milk server at the milk restaurant. Somebody said they had great service today from me. I can hand in this card. The milk restaurant where we always serve is milk. And on the back, I can say, hey, listen, take a look at the back. If you love the milk restaurant, will you do me a favor? Will you go to any of these review sites or maybe all of them and give us a five-star review? And, and if, you, if, if it's possible, if it's possible, you're, you want to have a website set up or a web page set up where, like I have on this card, uh, the milkrestaurant.com forward slash reviews, where they can actually go to that page and then click from there to get to your review site.